Hello and welcome to Richland Community Library presents How to Get Started Using Labrista. Labrista is Richland Community Library's online card catalog application. In today's video we will be covering logging in using your library card, searching and reserving items, accessing and editing account information, accessing and editing checkouts and reserves, and viewing lists, links, and new and trending items. If you haven't already, start by downloading the Lobrista app from your app store. Upon opening the app, you're going to first be asked to find your home library. Once you've set your home library, you're going to sign in by collecting the dots from the top right hand corner and using your username and password to log in. If you've never done this before, the default will be your first and last name with a space and your password will be your full library card number with no spaces. You can always change your password once you log in. When you're ready to search the card catalog, you're going to use the search box at the top of the screen. You can search an author, a title, or even a keyword. To narrow down my search results, I'm going to use the sort and filter option. Currently, it's sorted by relevance. I can change that to title, author, or call number, or even copyright date. Tap it once to get the newest items first, and tap it again to get the oldest items first. I'm also able to filter the items by material type and age group. If I happen to be looking for children's books, I can even search by accelerated reader reading level or point value. Another great feature of this app is the ability to extend your search to ebooks. By tapping on the ebook tab at the top, I can see if my search extends to Overdrive and to Block. When I'm interested in a title, I can click on the cover and find out more information about it. If I'm looking to reserve the copy, I'm going to hit reserve on the bottom part of the screen. I'm going to select main library as my pickup location and it is going to notify me that I am first in line for this item. It is important for me to wait until I am notified by the library when the item is ready to be picked up. access your account, you're going to select from the top left corner the three lines and click Account. From here you can change your email, phone number, and even your contact preference. If I've opted to have email notifications, I can choose how early I want to be reminded when items are due. If I've opted for text notifications, I can select from the menu of which notifications I would like. The security option gives you an option to change your password, and the very bottom gives you a digital copy of your library card. To see what items you have checked out or on reserve, go ahead and tap back into your account setting. From the dashboard, you will be able to see what items you currently have out, what items you have on reserve, and what items are ready for pickup. You can also see your history. I can also go ahead and cancel any reserves I have or renew items I have out from the dashboard. To access new and trending items, go back to the menu option on the left hand side and select trending. These items are currently popular at the library. Selecting just added will show you items that have been cataloged in the library in the last 30 days. Selecting lists will show you a list of curated items that the library has put together based on themes, times of year, and subjects. Click into the list to find more details and to select the items. And finally, selecting useful links will show you links to other digital services. Thank you for watching this video today. We hope you learned something. If you have any issues accessing Hoopla or any other library service, please contact the library by phone, email, or by stopping in, and a library staff member will be happy to help you.